I would say Whiskey on You is kind of a diss track a little bit. You know, it's a little bit of a diss track. And it's just kind of one of those things like, girl, I don't need you or whoever, I don't need you. And just, just boom, you know, you go out and you drink. That's what you do. It's so healthy. I'm toxic. I'm sorry. What's up, everybody? This is Nate Smith. And this is the hit story of my song, Whiskey on You. The way I would describe Whiskey on You to somebody who's never heard the song before, I would just say it's just one of those songs that you just want to turn up. It's got a really big anthemic chorus. Some people have DM'd me and said that it's helping them get over their ex. And I love the little, no lie, little part, because it's just a little, it's a little sass. It's got a little toot. I'd say the song is a little tooty. When I wrote Whiskey on You, I had just gone out of a fresh breakup, you know? Little, little hurt, little upset, and uh, I had a writer's retreat literally two days after this happened. So I had some material, and I went in there just kind of like feeling the way I felt, and went in there and, and, and wrote the darn song with my friends. I think it was the perfect time. That's what I love about writing music so much is because we have the ability, when we're going through stuff, we can, we can put it into song, you know? I love the line em up for them tall part because that's such a chanty little thing in a live set. Um, it's fun to, to stick the mic out there uh, during a show and hearing people sing that part back. It's so much fun. When we left the writer's retreat, I definitely loved the song. Like I had it on repeat, I was super excited about it, but you never know. But we went and re-recorded everything. We went, we went to Blackbird, recorded all the parts again, and it didn't feel the same as it did the day that we wrote it. In the demo of Whiskey On You, it just kind of like, it just hit really hard. Like the way that the guitars felt and the way that the drums felt, everything felt like it, it was supposed to sound like that. It's hard to recreate true emotion. You just mix the demo. The vocal that I sang on the song, I sang at a kitchen table at this lake house and we never changed anything. So we just mixed that. So what you're hearing on the radio is, is a demo. In the video, you definitely see me and my friend fictitiously break up. <laughs> She's very, very angry. I'm running up the power bill. She's absolutely had it. I'm kind of a loser boyfriend, honestly, in the, in the basement, just jamming out with my band. The band's gonna make it kind of vibe. So she comes down there and screams at me and she throws a whiskey bottle at me and I run away from my dear life. And then she stalks me throughout the rest of the video, tries to climb into the show, climb over fences and stuff. She had a little mustache going on and stuff. Could have fooled me. I like the part in the music video where we're all getting out like Scooby-Doo Stone. We come out and there's all this smoke coming out and we're like, Whoa. but it was actually like this, like this thing that burned baby oil kind of. So it stunk really bad and we thought we were getting poisoned to death, but they assured us that it was safe. They don't know the long-term effects yet, but we got through it. It looked great. At the end of the music video, you see an actual show and everything. That wasn't a fake show. That was headlining uh, Whiskey Jam. We just filmed that and, uh, and it, that way it was organic. It was real and it was so much fun making it. It was the funnest video ever. Whiskey on You did six weeks number one in Canada and uh, we did two weeks in the US, which is Freaking insane. I was sitting with my manager uh, in an airport and he's like, hey, I think it went number one. I was like, oh, it did? What? <laughs> so it was kind of one of those, it was very casual. Like, I'm like, that's crazy, man. That's how it happened. That's really how it happened. It was in, in an airport. Man, Whiskey on You has definitely changed my life, allowed me to, to meet more fans and, and have a good time. I'm having the best year of my life right now. I'm having so much fun. This is just, this is the coolest job on the planet. So it's, it's, it's definitely a dream come true.